Hi, I'm Stuart Langford. I own Central Engineering. We're based in uh, Belgrove, just out of Nelson. Um, we just do general engineering and basically the uh, most common sort of work we're doing is building traffic management trucks. We've got number 43 and 44 sitting in the workshop at the moment, um, doing a couple of hard ox bins for six-wheeler tippers, uh, maintenance for the crem crematorium in Nelson and general, just general day by day stuff that rolls through the door lights for transport contractors or farmers etc. We're operating off the grid here fully, there's no power coming onto the property at all. Uh, we've got 15 panels up uh, to bring the power in, um, we've got a 48 volt system running two inverters, so we've got a cheap Chinese must inverter which I must say is performing very well, um, has done from the start, and we've got a Victron inverter as well which we use to poke the generator through to charge the current into the batteries should we need to. Um, those two inverters run our workshop very successfully unless we're needing to use three phase and we fire up a generator for the likes of a three phase welder and a compressor that's about all we ever use it for and that probably hasn't been used for over three, uh, five or six weeks so not a lot. The single phase generator we're using is uh, for charging the batteries, this little sucker here, the little GT4000. Um, generator which we brought from Proline Welding Supplies. Um, it's been very good for us this season. Uh, the last last year we had a, quite a bit bigger one and it seemed to boost the batteries too quick. This one slowed it up a lot. Um, it burns not much fuel. In fact for the whole winter we're up to 179 litres for this winter of petrol. It's very good. Uh, it's got a remote start on it which I was told when we got it it's a direct line of sight but uh, I didn't, wasn't told that, uh, didn't remember that bit so I was sitting outside for a while and I could fire it up through the through the walls with the remote, so it's above my working above my expectations. To be honest, it's quite a good wee generator. The 4000s quieter than most other generators we've used. Um, certainly a lot quieter than most of the ones we've trialled. Um, I'm not too unhappy working with it inside the workshop, although it is nicer to put it outside. It's still not dead quiet by any means, but it's um, it's quite acceptable. When we're working in the workshop, all the generator is doing is just topping the batteries up if needed. Um, as I said, uh, during the summer we'd never fire the generator up, it's done purely off the of solar. Um, but during the winter, as I said, the your nights are pretty long and your days are pretty short and often don't have good sun, so the batteries do need some form of other boost other than the solar. Um, and that'll probably get superseded with a little water wheel in the river at some stage when we can work it out. Um, but no, it's a, it's a good system. Uh, part of the reason I've done it is because so many people told me I couldn't. I think I've quite happy that I've succeeded. Uh, the, the, before we even really got started we only had six panels up and uh, Jeff that's worked for me and I were working on a welder each all day off one inverter and about six panels. So it, it can do it. Fifteen panels up in total. They charge through the one inverter and the, uh, the Victron one we've got above me um, that charges off the generator only that doesn't take solar panels. So what we've done there, if we split the workshop into two parts ele electrically, so we've got one inverter comes down one side of the workshop, the other one goes down the other side. So if you're using the generator on the Victron inverter, it doesn't like like your bandsaw or your lathe or something like that firing up on it, it'll trip it out, uh, the generator. So we, we tend to have to hook that across onto the opposite side if we're running the generator. We've got eight packs of batteries in each one. That, um, 12 volt 260 amp hours so uh, the, these ones are doubled up so that means we're running 520 amp hours of, at 48 volts and the bank of batteries we've got below are, we bought them in thinking we're going to run them off the other inverter but we're just using them really as a backup one if, if some, things are getting low and we need to we can slip, switch that lot on and draw current off them as well um, and we honestly we haven't done it too much so uh, it's not really necessary. It doesn't run for much at all. During the winter I'd come out here really out of habit and I'd fire it up for anywhere from half an hour to an hour each morning to boost the batteries up. Then it wouldn't get started again unless we've got a really dull day and we've got plenty of drawer on the power then we might fire it up a couple of times during the day. But it's not as if it runs all day every day by any stretch of the imagination. I'd fully recommend that line of generator uh, I've, I've tried a, quite a few different ones over the years, like I've been like for off-site work and that, I've had quite a number of different generators and certainly this one shines above most.
It's, I haven't necessarily gone for the top of the line ones ever, but um, that it certainly is a, a good performing little generator. Its fuel economy is quite reasonable. Um, and it, it, it can drive most things you want it to. If you take it off, it, it would drive other gear quite satisfactorily.